Hello and welcome to Calvinopolis History, where I read a random Wikipedia page and then barf it up into a crappy slideshow for you. Hope you enjoy! Today's episode, Winutius vs. Cardamondua, also called the greatest battle between crazy exes in recorded history. It's the time of the Roman conquest of everything. And they're currently working on England, but they're kind of stuck on this region called Brigantia, mostly because there's like 60 rebel groups there, despite the fact that the king and queen, Winutius and Cardamandua, had already surrendered to Rome. Those flakes. Winutius was king of the Brigantes and loyal to Rome, even though he was friends with a lot of chief rebel dudes such as Caraticus. Caraticus was the leader of the Catuvelani and chief resistor against Rome. You don't even want to know how long it took me to pronounce Catuvelani correctly. Cardamondua was the wife of Winutius and, like him, loyal to Rome. A little bit too loyal to Rome. She was probably not so cool with all those rebel dudes. <laughs> Before we get to the mega divorce, we need to cover a much more important battle that preceded it. The defeat of Caraticus! Caraticus was headed for Rome with a large army of Celts. So Rome sends this guy named Ostorius Scapula along with eight centurions and the finest of soldiers to beat Caraticus. Surprise, the Celts are winning! What do we do? Send more soldiers, they said. But the Celts are still just barely winning. What do we do? Send more soldiers! Hashtag Bellum Romanum. They win, and Caraticus runs away. After his escape, he asks Cardamandua for help, and she chains him up and hands him over. But Winutius was pissed! Disclaimer, not actually Winutius. Winutius became a rebel, specifically the chief of the rebels. He became the new greatest resistor of Rome, gathering tribes from everywhere to his cause. To put this into perspective, imagine a Democrat married to a Republican, and they're both trying to organize rallies for their parties, in the same park, at the same time, times 10,000. Yep. Cardamandua, who had tired of Winutius, hooked up with his arms bearer. She then elevated him to the kingship of Brigantia. Cardamandua didn't stop there. She began capturing the allies and kinsfolk of Winutius and chopped their heads off. He became the chief resistor of the chief resistor of Rome. Eh? Rome supported Cardamandua with their army. Winutius gathered a great army and attempted to invade Brigantia. So Cardamandua calls up Rome, like, could you maybe help? And they're like, yeah, sure. So they send a good chunk of their army and everyone's pretty evenly matched until Caesus Nausicaa arrives with his special forces and they kick ass. And that was the end of that. Fast forward a bit. Rome is really, really unstable at the moment. It's Nero's fault. Nudius decides it would be a great time to give that old invasion another shot. Cardamondo is kind of counting on Rome, but because of the current political crisis, they can only send a small force, which the Celts defeated. She fled to the new Roman fort at Deva, wherever the hell that is, leaving all of Brigantia for Winutius to conquer. Here are my minimalistic sources, and thank you for watching.